love y'all, but y'all gotta stop leading women on and making us feel like we tripping when a bitch start catching feelings. I don't know what she tripping about. She just woke up today and went crazy. I told her I ain't want no relationship. Yeah, you say that after you've been playing house for her ass for about a month straight. Texting her good morning, beautiful, talking about what you want to eat. She's spending the night. She got a toothbrush by your toothbrush. Now you don't want no girl now? Bobo, let me tell you something. That's your girl. You might not know it. Your boys might not know it. Your side hoe might not know it. But she know it. Don't be out here getting all the perks. When things start happening and you want to fall back, you think we treatment when you tell her. No, no, no. I mean, I don't want no relationship. Oh, you don't want a relationship? Oh, but you want everything else. Oh, okay. Like, we're just supposed to be like, oh, you want to see multiple women? But you just want to have sex. Oh, but you want me to cook for you? Oh, but you want me to answer the phone later at night so you can come over? Oh, but you want to hit it wrong. Oh, but you don't want me talking to nobody yet. I told her I ain't want no girl. That's so on her. You can't say you don't want no girl when they're treating her like she's your girl. It don't work like that. And that's how you get your ass whooped. That's how you get stabbed. That's how you end up on daylight. Fellas, I love y'all, but y'all gotta stop. So... Let me let me explain this because there's a lot of women out here just like that. So I feel it's my duty to explain to you how to avoid these scenarios. I think it's only fair that I do that because let me address that woman, all right, who sent me this. If your man is doing that. He's not your man. Once your man tells you he don't want a relationship, that man was upfront. He was honest. He told you what he did not want. Now, he told you what he did not want. So when a man told you upfront what he did not want, you accepted that when you continue to go along and do the things that you were doing. For that person. It is not his fault. That he decided that he's still on the same course. That he was on. You thought by you doing all these things for him. Eventually. He was going to change his mind. Because of all the wonderful things you're doing. And when it didn't go your way. You have designed it in your head. You got mad. You got mad at him. Because you assumed. He would change to your liking, even though he was upfront and honest and told you he did not want a relationship from the beginning. That's on you. A man is only going to do what you allow him to do. And in a relationship, you let him lounge up in your house. You let him play house. You let him put the toothbrush next to your toothbrush. You allowed all that. So now when you go to not allowing it, now it's like, whoa, you tripping because you are tripping. Because if it was a no, no, you should have put those no, no's up in the beginning. Don't let it get started. So that way, hey, OK, you don't want a relationship. Cool. Then we ain't going to be messing with each other. Because I'm looking for something that's real. Because that's what they like to say. I'm looking for something that's real. You don't date nobody down the line and decide that. And then get mad at them because they're on the same wavelength. And that is the destruction of relationships all around the world. There's one word, assumption. That one word crushes all relationships because people assume rather than ask. I shouldn't have to ask. Well, it's obviously you did <laughs> need to ask because that person didn't do it. You mad because you didn't tell them. <laughs> then you definitely did not ask. So you did the one thing other than you assume. And then when it don't happen because you assumed it. Now you upset because you assumed something. You made an assumption. And assumptions always turn out to be bad. <laughs> Never on the good side. Assumptions always, I ain't you supposed to do. Common sense should have said you should have did that. I ain't think I needed to tell you when it's obviously you should know. It'd be people married 30, 40 years, still mad. I shouldn't have to tell you after. I'm like, you don't know your husband in 30, 40 years <laughs> that you might need to tell him. 
You might need to ask him something or he ain't going to say. Come on. You got to smarten up. Because it sounds like she's been dating immature boys and trying to mold them into what she wants them to be. And women do that too. They found a ball of clay and think, mm, I know it's messed up. I know it's lazy. I know it don't want to work. I know I got to yell at it every now and then, but I think I could change it. You know, just tweak a couple of things in it. We'll be all right. Come on, let's go. Okay. Can I get this coat? Girl, buy this coat for me. Come on, stop tripping. Buy this coat for me. You won't even take out the trash. I'll take the trash out, I swear, every day. Every day, I'll take it out as many times as you want. Just let me get this coat. Let me get this coat, babe. Go on, get it. You ain't getting nothing else. Come on. If your man's taking you to GameStop, you might need to get another man. <laughs> I'm serious, because you don't have a man. You got an overgrown baby. But you women tolerate this. You, you put up with it. And then want to complain when they don't do manly things. You knew what you had when you got it. Like the women. Ain't no good man out there. But you dating thugs. <laughs> Where was the good man at then? You got some grimy thug dude that's in the house. Like, nah, he good though. He might be a thug, but he cool. He good. I'm like, uh, okay. What is he doing as far as stability for the family? How is he with the kids? How is he? What are your kids going to learn from him? Uh, look, I don't want you smoking weed out there with them other chumps. So if you smoke your first blunt, you're going to smoke a pox. You don't need no guy like that. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not saying that's everybody out there, but a lot, large majority of these women are doing so. And it don't mean the guy in the business suit is, oh, well, he's in a business suit. He got a good job. So that means that's the guy to get. Because he's wearing a suit. No, oh, they could be a-holes and kids too. And babies. It don't make a difference. It's about the character. It's the character of the person. And the standards that they have for themselves. Now, what do you want? The standard that you set. Like, this is what I want for parameters for myself. If somebody's not on my wavelength. They're going to either be a detraction for you. Or they're going to help you. A woman is supposed to be your extension of you. That means when you're not around, she still represents you even when you're not there. And it's vice versa. That's what you people don't understand. Is that even when you, you don't have to be over your girl's shoulder 24-7. If you got to be over your girl 24-7, she's not your girl. You just got some chick that's ready to run off at any moment. In other words, if she's trying to slip and dodge and get past your old stream, get out there. That means you don't have a secure situation. And if she's not up to par the standards, then it might be time to sever and go somewhere else. Why invest time into something that's going to be argument after argument after argument and you're not moving forward? It just doesn't make any sense. What they call it in the street is you're hustling backwards. And you don't want to hustle backwards. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button.